Hi guys, I'm Carolina and I work with data. If you've been following me for a while, you know that this year I've created as many as four MacBook Pro videos. I never really intended to talk so much about MacBook Pro. This is not a tech reviews channel. It sort of just happened to me. Let me explain. So first, I made a very short trailer video right after I bought the 13-inch 2020 MacBook Pro because I was thrilled to get my first MacBook ever. After I received the package, I recorded the second video with my unbiased review. Unbiased because this is not a tech reviews channel, I have no interest in talking good things about Apple or anything like that. Given that I work with data and I create videos on YouTube, I focused on machine learning capabilities of the MacBook Pro and I focused on the video editing capabilities and Final Cut Pro software specifically. To my great disappointment, Final Cut Pro turned out to be a nightmare. The program couldn't handle making a seven minute YouTube video. I paid 1800 pounds for that laptop and that laptop couldn't handle a seven minute YouTube video. You can imagine my frustration. After about 30 minutes of editing, I would get beach balling and eventually the program would just crash. And it was surprising because I wasn't doing anything intensive. I would just have a couple of titles, a few effects, but nothing over the top. It was just a very simple seven minute YouTube video. So you can imagine I was a little bit heartbroken. I paid 1800 pounds for a laptop specifically in order to make videos and I couldn't make videos. That was frustrating. I called the support multiple times. I followed every single instruction they gave me. Nada. I then talked with other people on Apple's forum and it turned out that I wasn't the only one having that issue. Many people were facing the same issue, so it was a major problem. So, you know, I kind of had a feeling that it has to get fixed eventually because, you know, I'm not the only one facing the issue, people are getting angry, but I didn't really want to risk it because, you know, I was still within that return window so I could just return it and like just get rid of the problem instead of waiting months for a fix that might never come, right? So I just returned it. <laughs> That's when I decided to make my third video uh, describing the journey that Apple has taken me on. Well, the only part of the journey that I signed up for was owning a laptop that works. And yeah, yeah, I thought, forget about it, Apple. I'm not gonna buy any of your products now. I'm going for Dell XPS. But you know what? I just, I couldn't do it. Um, I really wanted to edit with Final Cut Pro and I couldn't get myself convinced to using DaVinci Resolve or Adobe. I just, I just really wanted Final Cut Pro because it is great for editing. You know, it's got plenty of built-in effects. It is very simple and intuitive, so the learning curve is not very steep. And okay, look, I got a full-time job. I, I, you know, I don't have that much time to like spend hours and hours trying to learn a software. I wanted something that works fast. And you know, Final Cut Pro is one of those softwares that you can use pretty much, you know, straight away. And if you want to learn some more advanced functions, then you can do that too. It's a very advanced software as well. And most importantly, Final Cut Pro costs 300 pounds. You buy it once and you own it forever. That is unlike what Adobe does with their software. Um, which is a subscription model software payment. Um, so you have to pay, I think, about 30 
pounds a month and you know that adds up very quickly and becomes way more expensive than Final Cut Pro. And of course, for those of you who don't know, Final Cut Pro can only be used on MacBooks. That's why I couldn't get Dell and Final Cut Pro. So I decided that despite all of this deep mud, I want MacBook Pro. So I bought 16 inch MacBook Pro. <laughs> right, so I thought, why not making a video about it? So I made a video about um, machine learning capabilities on the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Sadly, Final Cut Pro was still crashing. However, it was much less severe than on the 13-inch MacBook Pro. On the 13-inch MacBook Pro, um, I would get beach balling after 30 minutes of editing. On the 16-inch MacBook Pro, I would get the beach balling after two or three hours. So it would let me edit for much longer. So, you know, it was a good replacement, but Obviously, the issue was still there and it was a widespread issue, apparently not only affecting the specific model of a 13-inch MacBook Pro, but it was affecting, you know, MacBook Pros in general. And the reason why the beach balling was much less severe on the 16-inch MacBook Pro is that 16-inch MacBook Pro has a dedicated graphics card, unlike 13-inch MacBook Pro that has a, an integrated graphics card, which is worse. So yeah, I could kind of live with that. I could still edit my videos. So I was just like, yeah, let's just wait for the update. I know it will come one day, screw it. I don't want to return it. I want my Final Cut Pro, let's roll with it. So now I'm making this last video about this whole situation. And I just want to let everyone know, especially everyone that is considering buying MacBook Pros or anyone who's been facing the same issue, I just want to let you know that the issue has been fixed. There were multiple updates to Catalina and uh, Final Cut Pro since I bought my 16-inch MacBook Pro. And one of those updates fixed it. Frankly, I don't know which one, but one of them did. Also, no more comments from people on that Apple forum where people were complaining about the same issue. And the last comment is from August. So it kind of looks like the issue has been fixed. I can now edit for however long I want. There is no beach balling, no crashing, no lugging. It's pretty smooth. Everything's all right. So if you're considering buying 13 inch or 16 inch MacBook Pro, I think it is safe to do it now. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. If you're new to this channel, I talk about data engineering, machine learning, software engineering, and life. So if you'd like to see my other videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you next Thursday. Bye.